Hello, how are you? I hope you are safe and sound, that you are happy, even though I know today is our first day after holidays. And this is always sad, I understand you. But I think it's a good idea to keep on working. I think we should keep on working and then study gym and doing some things so that our routines change a little bit and I'm sure, I'm sure you are going to be a little bit less bored because I assume you are quite bored. And for today, what I have to do is a video with the glossary of glossary, sorry, of unit nine, okay? Do you remember how we used to work with our glossary? So we translated it in class while you um, wrote it down. And I think it's a good idea to keep on doing that. First of all, because we have missed each other. I miss you very much, believe it or not. And I think it's a good idea to keep on working with our routines. So that, I would like to read the glossary for you. Here it is. Okay, and I want you to go with me to page 91, okay? Please, please, please go to page 91. I should wait for you, but I'm not going to do it because you can press the pause button, the stop button, and you can find the book. So I'm just going ahead. I'm going to read it, I'm going to translate it, and I'm going to explain anything. I, I assume it needs an explanation or, or it seems important for me to talk uh, about it. If you have any question, if you would like to ask me anything, just write me, okay? I, I'm, I'm open for your questions. I'm always happy, happy to answer them. And let's go, let's start. So, the first word is able, which means capaz. Able, capaz. Appeal to, apetecer algo. Appeal to, apetecer algo. Ask out. Significa invitar a salir a alguien, ¿vale? Invitar a alguien pues a, a salir contigo, ¿no? A empezar una, una relación, por decirlo así. Ask over, invitar a alguien a casa, ¿vale? Ask over, invitar a alguien a casa. Awesome, increíble. Awesome, increíble. Dan estallido. Dan estallido. Be stuck indoors is a very nice expression to learn now, okay, um, currently. Because to be stuck indoors means to be locked indoors. So to be locked indoors, which could be estar encerrado en casa. You see, como estamos, no? Entonces, to be stuck indoors significa estar encerrado en casa. Con ese, con ese sentido figura, de acuerdo? Uh, beat, golpear, beat, golpear. Believe it or not, another expression, believe it or not, lo creas o no. Significa lo creas o no. So, for example, believe it or not, I'm sick and tired of having nothing to do. Believe it or not, I don't like ice cream. Believe it or not, I love strategy. This type of expression, okay? Very useful. And brave, which means valiente. Brave, valiente. Break down, averiarse. Break down, averiarse, estropearse. My computer broke down last week. I have to buy a new one, for example. Bridge, puente. Bridge, puente. Calm down, calmarse. Calm down, calmarse. Can't bear, no puedo soportar algo. Can't bear, no puedo soportar algo. Can't stand, no puedo aguantar algo. Can't stand, no puedo aguantar algo. These are synonyms. So that to say, you can, you can uh, use uh, the one you prefer because they more or less mean the same. All right? Mm, Cam round, sorry, I, I jumped one something you always hate 
I do, and uh, it always happened to me, sorry. Um, yeah, come along, sorry. Come along, progresar. Come along, progresar. Come round, pasar por casa de alguien. Uh, and it's like um, to go home but with, with no plans in anticipation. So, for example, you, you can say, oh, um, later I have nothing to do. Would you like to come round? And this come round already means that uh, you go to uh, this person's house. So this this is the tricky thing. This is what, what what's interesting. Um, entonces, come round, pasar por casa de alguien. ¿De acuerdo? Comfortable, cómodo. Comfortable, cómodo. Complete, completar. Complete, completar. Correct, correcto o corregir. Correct, correcto, corregir. Crawl, to crawl means arrastrarse. And it's interesting because it is connected to the swimming style. Eh, nadar a crawl, ¿vale? Todos, bueno, quiero decir, todos hemos nadado a crawl, todos sabemos nadar a crawl, los que sepan, obviamente. Pero, pero crawl está relacionado con esto. Um, cuando nos arrastramos, cuando reptamos, pues obviamente utilizamos las piernas, utilizamos los brazos, ¿vale? Eh, cuando nadamos a crawl, uh, it's more or less the same. Entonces, pues vamos así. Esto sería... Se debe ver horrible en el vídeo, pero bueno, no importa. Esto sería... Se me cae el libro. Esto sería nadar a crawl. Bien. Pues bueno, cuando nos arrastramos, pues es un poco como que intentamos avanzar como podemos. ¿Vale? Porque no es una postura natural. Por eso el crawl está relacionado. ¿De acuerdo? Nadar a crawl, quiero decir. Entonces, crawl means arrastrarse. Crawl, arrastrarse. Dishonest, deshonesto. Dishonest, deshonesto. Dissatisfied, insatisfecho. Dissatisfied, insatisfecho. Excited, animado. Excited, animado. Field trip. Can be translated as excursión. A field trip uh, is an uh, excursión, es una excursión. Uh, and sometimes can be translated to as trabajo de campo. So if you are uh, working at a place, uh, imagine, I don't know, you're a scientific and... Sorry. You're a scientist. I, I, I'm sorry, I was thinking about nothing. And you're a scientist and you are doing some research so that you have to go out to get information. And this could be a field trip too. Okay. Then we have flight of stairs, which is un tramo de escaleras. A flight of stairs, un tramo de escaleras. Fond of means tenerle cariño a algo, ¿vale? Estar encariñado con algo. Uh, we use it together with the verb to be. So we say to be fond of. To be fond of. I'm fond of books, for example. I'm fond of books. I'm fond of um, going to the cinema. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. I, uh, there's no example that comes to my mind now, but... This means, and the important thing is that it is connected to the verb to be. So, use them together. All right? Estar encariñado con algo, for example. Get over, recuperarse. Get over, recuperarse. Get the hang of means uh, pillarle el truco a algo. Coger el tranquillo a algo. Vale, es una expresión coloquial. Eh, get the hang of, cogerle el, el truco a algo. Get the point of means entender algo. También es coloquial. Get the point of entender algo. Hand signal sería un, un gesto, ¿no? Una, una señal con la mano. So, this could be a hand signal, for example. Uh, hang out means salir. Salir por ahí, a divertirse, ¿vale? Eh, también es coloquial. Eh, go out significa salir también, pero hang out... Es más, es más coloquial. Have a go at uh, something. Uh, let's have it go. Uh, for example, means uh, probar algo. 
¿vale? E intentar algo por primera vez. Uh, honest, honesto, honest, honesto. Huge, enorme, huge, enorme. Impatient, impaciente, impatient, impaciente. Impossible, imposible, impossible, imposible. Incomplete, incompleto, incomplete, incompleto. Incorrect, incorrecto, incorrect, incorrecto. Irregular, irregular, poco habitual. Irregular, irregular o poco habitual. Irresponsible, irresponsable. Irresponsible, irresponsable. Let down, decepcionar. Let down, decepcionar. Look back, mirar atrás. Look back, mirar atrás. Make a reservation, hacer una reserva. Make a reservation, hacer una reserva. Es parecido al, al otro verbo a book. Uh, to book, a table, for example, at a restaurant. Painful, doloroso. Painful, doloroso. Patient, paciente. Patient, paciente. Eh, lo podéis usar pues, eh, en el sentido de tener paciencia o también de eh, bueno, un paciente en un hospital. ¿De acuerdo? Uh, possible, posible. Possible, posible. Pretend means fingir. Pretend, fingir. Regular, regular, normal, habitual. Regular, regular, normal, habitual. Responsible, responsable. Responsible, responsable. Rope, cuerda. Rope, cuerda. Satisfied, satisfecho. Satisfied, satisfecho. Sign up, apuntarse a algo. Sign up, apuntarse a algo. Skydiving es eh, paracaidismo. It's true that sometimes also in Spanish we use skydiving, but the translation could be paracaidismo. Slippery, resbaladizo. Slippery, resbaladizo. Sort of, especie de. Um, I think you are going to understand it better if I use an example. So, um, uh, for example, this is... A This, this is a pen. It's a sort of mechanical engine for writing, for example. We say, it's a sort of, my favorite sort of music is, my favorite type of music is, okay, so type of, sort of, especie de, tipo de. Stay in, this, this, stay in, quedarse en casa. Ok, hashtag staying. So, uh, yes, staying means quedarse en casa. Important. Then we have stay over, which means quedarse a dormir. Oh, my friend Karen is coming this Saturday and she is staying over, for example. So, it means that she's staying inside the house uh, to sleep. Ok. And stunt means uh, escena peligrosa. También puede significar acrobacia. Okay, but stunt is escena peligrosa. Stuntman is uh, especialista. Eh, pues bueno, las pelis de acción, por ejemplo, ¿no? Las de, pues yo qué sé, la de los mercenarios, que alguno la habréis visto. Pues eh, los actores de los mercenarios, pues hombre... Están ya entrados en unos años que no puede arriesgar sus vidas, así como así. Entonces tienen stunt men o stunt women, stunt woman, stunt man. ¿Vale? Pues son los especialistas de cine, se les llama así. And then we have swing. Swing means balancearse. To swing, balancearse. Irregular verb, ok. Swing, swing, swung. Right? Uh, to tell the truth uh, means um, para decir la verdad. To tell the truth, I uh, haven't studied anything, for example. To, to, to say the truth, to tell the truth. Um, turn down means rechazar, to turn something down, rechazar. T 
turn out means um, ir a algún sitio, acudir, acudir a algún sitio. Unable, incapaz, unable, incapaz. Uncomfortable, incómodo. Uncomfortable means uh, incómodo. Unsatisfied is also insatisfaction. Similar to dissatisfied. Okay, and finally, we finish with write down, which means anotar. Escribir algo en un papel. Okay, this is write down. Escribir algo en un papel. So, uh, that's all, folks. Um, you have your glossary. You can watch this or listen to this whenever you want. And you can also write me if you have any question. So, take care, have fun, and let's work a little bit. Bye!